Hey friends, welcome to this week's video. This week we're going over the KSC 75s by Koss, and this is rounding off the sort of Koss trifecta of headphones that uh, they purport as having audiophile quality at very budget prices and so far so good in terms of the two or three that we have done. Uh, this is gonna be an example of one that we've done recently in the annotations up above. And then, yeah, we're gonna get into these. I'm already on the field just because I wanna try to start my day and do this more day in the life, just like the other ones. And yeah, overall, just looking at it right now, the only thing I'm really annoyed with is kind of the thinness of this wire. And Costas have thin wires in the past, but just I think because it's a separated headphone, it's just a little bit more obvious on that. And I'm definitely gonna have some issues with these clips. I've been having some issues just get easily getting them on my ears, but we'll have to see how they run in the long term. So let's play with these and set up and then go from there. I'll show you guys some specs in the meantime. As with anything wired, you're going to have to figure out phone placement. Zippered pockets and a strong waistline tie are recommended to keeping your phone from flying and your pants on. However, the 1.2mm cable does give you enough give to adjust your positioning and hide away the cable and adjust the placement between pockets. However, if you are using these to work out, I would recommend having an armband just to be less intrusive on workouts that require hip hinges like high knees or squats. First half of the workout done. I will say that I like the fact that there is control on here. Again, no volume, but you know, playback controls, play pause, uh, first track, next track, all the sort of essentials. So let's get you there. Again, I just wish there was a little volume rocker that make it a little bit more convenient. But it's overall not too bad. I'm actually surprised that these aren't heating up as much because they're just like, that clip really just sucks into your ear. But it's not uncomfortable. And I thought it would weigh me down a little bit more, but it's actually not bad. I prefer these over the Porter Pros because they breathe a little bit better. And uh, it's a little less finicky on the fit, but I could, uh, I could see how these clips are annoy me. Let's see how the next part of the workout goes. The clips in fact did not cause problem as they helped the headphones stay stable and wasn't really a bother on ear because it's lightweight. However, despite the ear security, the headphones did leak a lot of ambient noise. Good for situational awareness, especially if you're on a bike, but for isolated workouts, it's a little hard to get locked in without getting distracted. My biggest issue was with the cable. The thinner wire was more finicky and tangly, and it was just a little bit annoying against the skin when running. However, not as annoying as the control placement. The low orientation was just enough to have it hide under my shirt, so I was constantly having to tug at the wire to find the control and change tracks. I'd like to see future iterations bring that closer up to the ear pad. So with the workout complete, let's move on to the microphone performance and check how the KSC 75Xs perform on calls. So the KSC 75 microphones worked really, really well for this outdoor conference that I was doing. It was really nice to hear everybody clearly as well as them hearing me. I was having subways and buses and all these sort of things in the background. And while you could still hear them, my voice was being able to be isolated really, really well. The big difference that I saw here is that because of the length of the cable and where the mic is placed, it's kind of in the center of my chest. Where I would prefer is if they made this a little bit higher. So if they brought this closer to the chin in terms of where they place the microphone, you could get better quality without having to hold it. So this is the reason why you see everyone like on TikTok like holding the microphones when they're singing and talking is because you get a lot better clarity, a lot better depth, just a lot better quality in general for the microphone. So if they fixed that in terms of the design, they could get a lot better uh, performance. But overall, you can use these for phone calls all day. Don't hesitate at all. All right, so walking back, that was a pretty decent experience between the field and the workout. I will say that volume might be an issue for you, definitely, because, you know, they sound good. Like if, if you're in an isolated place, 70% gets you good, just like most of the cost headphones, but you hear everything. There's not as much of a seal as the Porta Pros or the KPH30Is, so you're going to hear everything. It's good if you're biking, you hear your, all your surroundings and you still have your music, but I can't get an isolation or seal on these at all. 
like even at 100 percent they blast my ears i can still hear everything around me so that's a consideration but i'm hungry so let's go get food and get some cafe perspective on this guy While ordering food, I was missing the headband because I do like taking my headphones off and slinging them around my neck as I wait for my food. I just had to hold these in hand because I didn't want to pocket them and have to deal with untangling them before I ate. Additionally, the open back design was not great because I could hear every conversation around me quite clearly, and boosting the volume just leaked more music into the cafe, thus annoying people around me. This is why you see me in an empty corner of the cafe because all of the sound leaking in and out of this headphone. I'll switch you over to a recording that I took to show you this leakage. It's 50. You probably can't hear anything, but I can. 70. And then I'm going to sacrifice my hearing for y'all. 100. I can still hear my surroundings too. That's the messed up part about it. So we're back inside, showered, but I did want to give you guys a microphone test indoors because I gave you the outdoor one, but you know, with a little bit more controlled environment, obviously you get better performance. Again, the microphone placement is quite low. I didn't just to show you that it's like super low. And obviously the import performance improves as you put it closer to your mouth. So again, something for you guys to consider, but overall, the microphones work for what they need to. Again, calls are great. You definitely will be able to hear stuff around your house, like an air conditioner or something like that. But, you know, they're, they're serviceable. They just don't have the same isolation that I'd want that the other cost headphones give. But in terms of microphones, I think this actually sounds the best, has the best microphone of all of them. So that's also something to note. But let me get into my room and have that set up so we can talk about fit and sound. So from a fit and form, Obviously, we've done this more mobily, but let's talk a little bit more about how these just are on head. It doesn't have a headband, so you don't have to worry about your hair getting messed up. They do clip onto your ear relatively nicely. It just depends on how these feel to you. For me, I think they end up pinching a little bit over time, and when you release them or take them off your ears, that's when you really feel that release of pressure uh, and understand how much these clip. And I think it's just the design of these ear clips because these ear clips do, like, loop around the entire ear down to your lobe so that pressure is just more exacerbated it also makes it a little bit annoying to put it on and adjust so i did find some difficulty it took me a while to get the mechanism to do it but even if i have it down it's just a little bit harder to slip through i think there's been other designs in the past uh, where you can just kind of clip it out and clip it in not from cost but just other headphones as I, that I remember from back in the day that were a little bit easier to use than this I do like the fact that they have a rubbery sort of grip to them so they do stay in place but the big thing that I saw is that is because they do have a little bit of articulation to them and how they design this if you are adjusting these you do have the option or not option but the ability to unclip them that does make them a little bit more durable and forgiving, but again, I have tried to adjust these and sometimes they clip off. Not ideal, not the easiest thing uh, to handle on, on the go, <laughs> but you know, they're not too bad. In terms of the wiring, uh, it is a little bit thin, so a little bit hard to squirrel away into your backpack. They will tangle. Uh, there's no carrying case, so it's just a little bit consideration for your form factor and how you wanna pocket these, but they will get tangled because of how skinny and round the wires are. Let's punch in and just talk about the looks overall. Uh, let's see, probably a little bit more. Yeah. So, if we look at these, they're pretty sleek in this colorway. Obviously, the the OGs or the non mass drop ones have a little bit more silvery tone to give it really, really that OG look. I like how muted it is in the. It looks black here, but I think these are dark navy for the mass drops. As you can see here, it covers my whole ear, and you'd expect that to have some pretty good seal, but I think because of how loose these clips are, as well as there's no headband to ensure that clamp, you do get some leakage. And as a result, you know, you heard how much these leak in terms of how we were in the cafe. So 
again, the design's there. It's a, it's more comfortable than the Poro Pros because it doesn't have that clamp. It has cushier cushions than the KPH30Is. But just from an overall looks perspective, obviously, it's going to see if you guys will like this. Looking straight on, obviously, they protrude a little bit more. They're just a certain look. They don't look as sleek because they don't have the headband keeping it all like in sync there. So just a consideration for you guys. Don't know what else to say about it. But let's put it on Samika's head and see what she thinks about it. <laughs> what do you think of them on your head? I mean, the feel is good, but I don't like the look. because. Why I don't you look cool like about the look? It just kind of sticks out. It like, protrudes out. And I feel like it's not very sleek. And I usually like a sleeker look than this. Would you be embarrassed if someone on the street that you knew caught you with them on your head? I think so. I mean, <laughs> it's not exactly my usual look, for sure. I usually go, if I'm going to wear something that's um, like a earphone like this, I would want it to actually just go in my ears and not be like sticking out as much as this one. Yeah. Do you think that this could be rocked in your wardrobe or is this just like really not going to really work at all? I mean, I could wear them with something like darker, I guess, like a darker outfit, but I don't think I would usually wear it. One to ten style. One to ten. Six. Okay. Okay, not as bad as I expected from you. Yeah. As we talk about sound, these guys are definitely brighter than the other two headphones that we've reviewed from Koss. These just sound a lot better on the upper mids to treble, and it just makes all voices sound a lot better. So if you think about what we did on the other headphones, especially with the Porter Pros, you notice that there's more emphasis on male vocals. It's, the Porter Pros just like, it, like we, we joked about it, they're almost the sexist headphone because only guy vocals sound on that unless the woman's voice is extremely powerful. With these, these have a wonderful sparkle on women's voices, wonderful punch and precision on the strings of the instruments that are, are introduced, and there's just a little bit more resonance and it has a little bit more feel to it. From the KPH3i perspective, those are very neutral, like very, you know, more accurate. They're mid-focused for sure, but I think it just brings out a lot of clarity out of those headphones. But some people find them that are not as fun to listen to, or they don't work for all of their music, where these ones, when letting my friends try this, almost everybody liked this headphone because it had that energy. And I think a lot of how headphones are tuned today are a little bit more energetic, so it works for the music of the day. And as a result, these ones end up working extremely well for a lot of different genres and a lot of different popular music that there is today. So again, you may not have that punch of the Porter Pros, but it doesn't mean it's not there. It's just a little bit more controlled, a little bit more recessed, uh, but it still sounds great overall. The biggest thing that I noticed with the KSC 75s is that these, again, because of how they're tuned, do very, very well on the vocals. So even if I'm listening to a podcast, the biggest thing with the Porter Pros that I did not like is the fact that it did not bring in the characteristics of the voice. If someone had a special microphone that had, you know, good clarity or certain sparkle to it, it could not bring out those distinct characteristics. While the KSC 75s did a much better job about bringing that depth in voice. And like, especially if you listen to the same podcast or for a while, like you're not missing anything with the KSC 75s while you may be on the Porter Bros. So spoken word sounds extremely good on this, but I think I've talked about all the fronts about the audio. So let's get into some sound samples so you guys can understand how these sound to your ears.
So in terms of a recommendation for the KSC 75s, they're an easy pickup. They're 20 bucks and punch way better than the price tag would suggest, just like most things that cost builds. The trebles and mids will sound extremely full and it's going to be a well-rounded signature that works for all of your music. The biggest things that you have to check is going to be fit and function. From the fit perspective, we talked about the clips and how they might annoy you, but I do say that a lot of people like the fact that there's no headband because they're, you know, a little bit less fussy. They don't mess up your hair. They don't have to worry about articulation because these fit flush to your ears due to the design. So, you know, you get a little bit better performance from that perspective, but it's going to be a big consideration on how these work for you in the long term. From a function perspective, again, there's a lot of great things around here. You just have to see if you're okay with this cabling system that they have because it is thinner than the other headphones out there, as well as the fact is you just have to see if like how you're going to use this and where you're going to use this. Like, Can the volume sit, uh, sit up to what you need, as well as will you get the proper seal, uh, and can you deal with it? A lot of things leaking in. So again, very, very commendable entry here from Cost, but uh, for me, at least my personal usage, these probably would not be my daily driver in terms of wired headphones or Cost headphones because of the fact that they have those other options that do a little bit more things that are better for my use case. For me, in my personal use, these clips aren't the most comfortable thing um, just because I prefer a headband. I like having the ability to sling it on my neck and I, I just like how it's a little bit less compressive on my ears. I also like the fact that the other headphones have a little bit more chunky cable. Um, so these ones tangle a bit, which is a little bit annoying uh, when taking it out of your bag, um, as well as they, you know, since they don't have a bag or something, they don't, it's harder to pack them. It just, it's just a little bit harder to pack them. So that's the reason why I just don't think that they're as portable. And then lastly, uh, the seal just won't work for me because for me, I, I use all of my headphones mobily. I like getting a calls done while walking around the city, things like that. Just too much leakage, both like to me where I can hear everything around me as well as people around me will hear. And I don't want to annoy other, you know, passengers on the subway and things like that. So I would not use these as my daily driver. I'd probably tend towards more like the KPH 30 eyes. I don't want to get too far in terms of comparisons because I do want to do a proper video on the other headphones together and how they perform in each of the different buckets. Uh, but I will say that these guys are all cheap enough for you guys to pick up and try them yourselves and see which one you like the best. But I do understand that you guys like those comprehensive videos where you get a little bit more side to side from another perspective. So I'm definitely going to be working on seeing the trifecta together and see how they perform and see which ones will work for certain people. And hopefully we'll get an understanding of which ones are the best for you. So stay tuned for that. Um, I do want to do maybe live stream around that and my initial impressions so that I can give you guys a little bit better samples in terms of music. Let me know if you guys want that. We can dedicate a night around that so we can have some fun with some music and I can get copyright striked and, you know, it won't be the main video. But, you know, I appreciate that you guys have been enjoying this series and commenting a lot. And, you know, it's, it's cool to be able to go back to my roots of headphones and you know go back to my middle school and high school times of when wired headphones were like the thing or the only option and you know fall back in love with the wired setups but if you could please consider liking subscribing commenting doing all the things that you normally do on a video that you like and love and so my ogs thank you so much for these suggestions they do help me drive the channel they do help me drive engagement i appreciate seeing you guys on live streams and talking with me and samika about anything random in your guys's lives our lives or just gaming with us to pass the time it's been really cool engaging with you guys and you know it's been what 1500 people uh that are following along now it's really cool to see the growth and getting to know you guys as you guys become regular so definitely stick around hope to see you in a future video or live stream but as always appreciate you Peace.